Abracadabra. Now the candles. We don't have any candles. Mm. I know. Instead of birthday cake for real, that means candles on fire. Jack. It's okay without the candles. It's still a birthday cake. You should ask for candles for Sunday treat, not dumb jeans. I'm sorry. You know, I have to ask for stuff that we really need. Room. An 11 foot square room to be precise. This is a film which didn't really grab me by its premise of a mother and her son in one location. Even though I love some movies with just one location, like Hitchcock's Rope, and for the most part, Reservoir Dogs. I saw the trailer, I just didn't get this at all. Oscar interest plenty doesn't always mean there'll be a film that I like. Uh, but then after Mark Camo said on the BBC News film review that it's not the film you think it is, yeah, I thought I'd give it a shot. It took about 20 minutes before I got it, in terms of you know being hooked by it. And it is gripping, as there's a story there to discover that's very well told. The film starts with a young lad, Jack, turning five, yet there'll be no big party for this momentous occasion, since he spent his entire life in Room. And it is just called Room. Brie Larson's character is simply referred to as Ma, and she controls his understanding of everything. A mouse isn't a mouse, it's mouse. Same with Bad Tooth, since she really needs to see a dentist. To Jack, there's Room. Then out of space, with all the TV planets, because that's pretty much their only visual outlet. Then there's heaven. Plant is real, but not trees. As for any provisions, all he knows is that there's a man called Old Nick who brings them everything they need. And as he's forced to understand what the world's about now he's five years old, as Ma reckons he's old enough now, he bemoans, I want to be four again. Well, the questions I had while watching it included, why are they in there and what's going on in the outside world that's led to this? However, Room is a, a film that's difficult to describe without giving spoilers. So all I'll say is that all your questions will be answered in what is a very well-rounded film. And it's a rare one that has a really good ending as well. I don't think it's Oscar winning worthy for Brie Larson as Best Actress. Um, she's very good, but Jacob Tremblay uh, was quite brilliant in his role as Jack. However, I think it's another step to creating the often suggested Oscar and BAFTA uh, award for Best Ensemble Cast. As for these two, they work brilliantly together. It's also a, certainly a step up from the diabolical mess that was Frank and then the Abrahams' last movie. The Blu-ray and DVD are out on Monday. Um, I reviewed the Blu-ray version. I'll put a link to my review below. Um, that also includes uh, a look at the extras, including uh, an audio commentary and a number of featurettes. I want a different story! No, this is the story that you get!